Hey everybody, how we doing today? Sneaking in another beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. And I think I'm gonna take advantage of it and do a little bit of offshore action. I have low expectations today. I want a very low stressed uh, day of fishing. So I'm just gonna head out, cruise out, catch something, come on back. Uh, as you can see, nice flat calm day, no skies, no storms. So it should be nice out. Uh, I'm not going to be keeping any fish, so just catch and release day. So that's the plan. All right, made it out to the outside edge of the reef, and it is beautiful out here. Oh, man, the water's so clear on the run out. I could see the basically the sandy bottom the whole way out, and every once in a while I see a big old turtle gliding along. I mean, I could see the crab buoys and the rope going down, and I could see the traps on the bottom is so clear, and that's with me running and gunning. But, uh, wow. So we're out here and we're gonna keep on going heading out. Um, man, it would be a perfect day for a drifting, uh, a big uh, pilchard. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice as well, so I might do that, but uh, I'm not set up. I just got three rods today, very light and quick uh, stuff. I wanted a low stress day today. So we'll just keep moseying on out there. If I see some bait action, we'll do some trolling. Like I'm, I'm already seeing bait, bait busting over here. Well, that's a good sign. So if I start seeing bait balls and birds, I'll do some trolling, but otherwise I'll stop by the wrecks. And I'll probably go out to the deep wreck today since it's so nice out. So let's keep on moving. All right, we made it out to 200 feet. So the last 200 to 300 feet, I'm just gonna go ahead and troll it. Uh, I'm gonna use my Yozuri Blue Fire Tiger Crystal Minnow. And uh, maybe put out the uh, four inch paddle tail, but we'll see. This one I can troll a lot faster, but uh, just so I can get out there. But just in case there's fish, I'm seeing some uh, flying fish. So uh, that's a first for this uh, winter time. So let's get trolling. All right, uh, we trolled out from 200 to 400. So now we're sitting up at the uh, USS Southley wreck. Uh, my fish finder is not working the gps is fine so that's all i need i've got the uh the wreck all marked out so i'm just gonna do the same thing see what my drift is and then do some deep drop vertical jigging ugh Marking any fish, my sounder died. How about take over? <laughs> what do you catch here? Uh, amberjack probably. Almacos. This is probably amberjack. Oh. 
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> Just warming up. <laughs> you got your two GoPros going, we had one going. Come on. <laughs> ah, didn't have my Wheaties today. It's a long ways down. <laughs> Yeah. How fast do you get out of that thing? Ah, on days like this, about nine knots. Ah, so my transducer is messing up because it's not uh, receiving a signal. So I can't see the, actually any fish, but it doesn't matter. Key thing is that I get the drift right. And a little bit off. So I might spin it around that way and do this drift through there. So I've got the wreck all laid out already, so I don't even need the fish finder part. All right, long way down. I think this is the four ounce. This is more of the knife jig style, so it gets down faster. All right, try this again. There you go. Oh, this is a little bit more manageable this time. <sighs> little amberjack or almaco
Oh, little guy. Sorry, buddy. You got... Let's see, let's go three for three. Well, looks like there's toothy critters about halfway up from the bottom. Great. All right, toothy critters, bite on that. That ought to fix your dang toothy critters. All right, toothy critters, get some, get some, get some. Hopefully it's one of these toothy critters. So I could punch it in its face for cutting off all my hooks. Not very big, whatever it is. color Almaco little dang Almaco not the toothy critter I wanted I want to see what's biting me off all the time blow out your air bubble baby little dinky guys Bye-bye. Well, I am calling it. Not very much action at all. Uh, perfect conditions out here for me, but <laughs> apparently the fish don't like it. I started off really well. I mean, the first three drops had that big fish that I lost. Then that second one, I snagged that little Almaco. And then third one, I got a, uh, a hook cut off. So can't beat that. Three fish, three drops, but then very little after that. I was very happy to catch that little dinker fish. I mean, that's something I'd catch off the uh, the boat launch there. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and in. Only weird thing today that I could see is that there are just literally thousands of man -o wars everywhere from little quarter size ones to real jumbo size one. I don't know if that affected anything or if it's some weird water that's bringing those up, but no other action. Uh, I saw a couple of uh, tunas jumping but that was it just sporadic no bait balls busting nothing running so kind of odd but i'm happy uh stayed out pretty late i mean i'm gonna be going home definitely in the dark i just wanted to see if maybe uh bait would push up i wish the uh the fish finder the transducer was working because i could see if there's any bait sitting above the wrecks if it was empty then i would have left a long time ago but only way to tell is a lot of jigging see that that's that's blister skin there <laughs> from uh, rubbing on that handle so i jigged a lot but oh well i think tomorrow i think the conditions are good if i can get all my orders caught up early enough and dropped off i think i'm going to see if i can cast net some jumbo pilchards and then run the reef edge if i can't find pilchards i think i'm going to just bring my small hard baits and troll those see if i can catch some blue runners and then uh wire hook those and run those on the edge uh That'll save me a lot of distance running coming out here to the offshore. So I think that's our plan. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.